Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the get attribute activity. We will create a demo project to understand how the get attribute activity works. For this demo project, we will use demoqa.com as a test website. So first we will open this website and we will try to get the placeholder attribute of the email input field which is name at example.com and displayed in the message box. Then we will try to get the type attribute and displayed in the message box. So let's see how these activities work. Uh, so now we will move to RPA Genie Studio. First I'll drag and drop the open browser activity. Provide the URL. Next, the maximize activity. Next, the get attribute activity. The get attribute activity returns the value of a specific attribute of a UI element. So first we need to click on indicate on screen, select the window, and we will, in this case, select the email input field Click on view, press OK and I'm going to try to get the placeholder attribute. So I'll type in placeholder here. The output will be assigned to a variable called var value. So right now I'm going to drag and drop a message box. And I'll type in var value here. Let's see how these activities work together. Run the sequence. As you saw, it displayed name at example.com in the message box, which is what is written here in the email input field. Next, we will try to get the type attribute. So instead of placeholder, I'll replace it with type. And we will once again run the sequence again. As you can see, the type attribute of the email input field is text. So, yeah, that's all for this demo. Thanks for watching.